What's up guys? It's me and my baby doing a seafood mukbang today. Um, before I start, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. You know, I have a variety of things I do on my channel, so um, yeah. Let me tell you what I got. Let me see if I can do this right. Okay, I got the, the snow crab, the potatoes, the shrimp. Of course, I got the lemon, lemon in there. I cooked it in there, so. And uh, what else did I get? Oh, the corn. Y'all know I'm on my laptop, so my angle is not that good all the time. The egg, y'all know I gotta have my egg because this egg is delicious and a seafood boil. I don't know what y'all don't know what y'all be missing when y'all just don't have it in there. And um, I put a little onion in there for a little flavor. I like, I like onion. My son don't like onions, but I like them. Onion. It's spicy too. And um, what else do I have in here? Nope, I have sausage down here somewhere. I didn't buy any sausage to go in this bang, so I just used what I had. So I just cut them up. And we are going to dive in. Then my butter sauce is on the side. Okay. So what we want to talk about today? Mm, that's good. I normally do. I normally do my um mukbangs a little spicy, but um I don't think he like it spicy all the time. So how you like the butter sauce? It's not spicy like it normally is. So it's Friday. What are you guys doing for it today? Lately, all I want to do is eat seafood. Oh, God, this is not even coming out right. That's all I want to do. I love seafood. Um, in the comments below, guys, tell me what's your favorite, favorite food. Um, uh, right now mine is crab legs. And we haven't been to, to, um, a little taste of Philly in a couple of weeks. But sometimes I want to do my own thing. Today I went out and did a little um, a little CVS haul and a little Walgreens haul. So I'm going to share with you what I got on those hauls. Yeah, we're hungry. We had eaten all day, so probably not gonna do a whole whole lot of talking. We were supposed to be doing a QA today. And I forgot what my subject was supposed to be. I know it's supposed to be about um okay, so you watch do you watch the 
Red Table Talk with um. Okay, so do how do you feel about talking to a parent about sex? Why? Why? If if you have an open door policy, why will you talk to your parent about sex? Well, so would you would you go to a parent or or me? Um if you need some condoms or something? Yeah, that's nothing. We're not talking about your feelings. No, not not that. Not going into detail. But I'm saying there might be some curiosities that you might want to know. And like when is the best time to start having sex? But if you're already asking about sex, you might know the time. <laughs> you know, you're be able to start. So you're gonna have to speak up because you know last time they couldn't hear you because you was mumbling. Yeah. So. So you don't think teens should go to their parents and talk to them about sex? You think it's supposed to be between they, them and their friends? It depends on what. Everybody ain't the same. Speak up. It depends on who you are. Everybody ain't the same. So you think most teens um, are embarrassed to talk to their parents or their parents um, make them fear coming to them, talk them about, talking to them about sex? The parents or the, the kids? The kids. Mm. I put the whole trust in my mouth. Mm -hmm. Mm So tell me, what's your favorite food? Ribs. Still ribs. Yeah. I like ribs, but I would rather have I would rather have seafood any day. I don't like chicken like that no more. No. He said he don't like chicken anymore, but I love to cook my um my wings, my fried wings. Um, I don't know if I ever shared with y'all. We didn't do a mukbang of when I did my wings, but now I'm about to do one. I'm gonna have to do it by myself because he don't like wings. I mean, he don't like chicken like that no more. I guess I was cooking it too much, but I I love a, a good fried wing. I love good fried chicken too. But like I said, if I had my choice, my choice would be to eat seafood every day. <laughs> Until I get tired and want something else, but I don't know if I'm going to get tired of it, y'all. Now, I know I'm not getting the, the most expensive seafood because I get mine from Harvey's. I don't know if y'all, you know, know about Harvey's or have a Harvey, some of y'all. Because <laughs> y'all have, like, stores that I've never heard of before. But, um... I get mine from Harvey's and Publix. Because I haven't I haven't signed up for the Sam's um, card yet again. So I'm just right now I'm just getting it from Harvey's. Um, 
They have some pretty good deals. I know it's not the freshest, freshest seafood, but I still get it. <laughs> as long as we ain't getting sick, I guess we'll be all right. I don't think they'll be selling if it was like really like bad for you. Because nobody wants a lawsuit. So. So I do have another question. Okay. Since school is out, do you think more kids are sneaking around while their parents are at school? Hey, Not school, but work. <laughs> it depends on, depend on who you are. Well, what about using protection? Do you think when they do sneak around, do you think they use protection? Some people do. Some people just think they sneak in. They ain't always sneaking. They just sneak around. They don't know what to do. Do you have any friends? In school, that's got babies. I think, um, I, um, let my crab legs sit in the water too long or something. I wish I could just go all the way fresh with them. But I get these out of the frozen section, so. Y'all can see I love eating my my seafood. So whoever the Lord sends for me to marry me and be my husband, he gonna have to like some seafood. <laughs> He's going to have to enjoy it like I do. Yeah, know how to cook it, too. <laughs> hmm. I said, know how to cook it. What y'all think? Y'all Do y'all think I should let him cook? Let Next time I um do a boil, just let him cook it. <laughs> mm. 
So he gets some practice. Oh yeah, we had the um, blue crabs from a little taste of Philly um, before. And you know, they always sell good food. It's just that we, we just found out that we just love snow crab, king crab, you know. Um, and I know a lot of people like the, um, the blue crab, but I don't know whether it's because we had a hard time eating them or what, but really did order some juice. Really didn't order no crab. No crab and then juice. <laughs> Y'all, you know, I told you I like my onion. I don't know if that's something that people do. But I said I just was going to try it and see how I like it. And I like it. I'm oh, my onion lover. Now, when I was younger, I, I pretty much like did not like onion at all. But I don't know when you when you get older, you tend to start liking stuff that you didn't like before, and you don't like stuff that you used to like. Well, I don't know. What, what were you saying? I was going to ask him if he had any quick Italian sausage and crab bone. He's not talking that loud, so. I'm going to repeat what he said. He wants to know if you guys put Italian sausage in your crab well. Do you know somebody that has? No, I'm the answer. <laughs> Y'all got to help me get my followers up now. Now, I'm not going to just be doing mukbangs or seafood mukbangs, seafood boils or whatever. I do um, hauls and stuff. And I do Dollar Tree hauls, CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens. Even though I be getting a little shade from Walgreens, <laughs> um, I still do my hauls. I know they kind of act like they don't, they hate to see the couponers coming, but, you know, keep them busy, keep them with a job, so, huh? if we don't come, <laughs> you know, it's, I don't know, it, to me, being able to coupon is a blessing, and I think it should be looked at as a blessing on both ends, because the more business you get, the more hours you're going to get. The more work, you know. So I love um I love it. I love fun. To me it's a for me it's a type of since I don't have a husband or um a boyfriend or anything. I don't know. It's just kind of it's a something to pass time and just you know, and it's kind of relaxing also. Um, it's not easy all the time, but but I do like it. I like being able to coupon and share with you guys the deals I got. The only thing is, I don't have all the policies down pat, and then 
what I had to learn was that I got to start wearing my glasses inside of the store. So that way I can read my coupons. So these people think you're trying to get over if you if you just looking at the pictures and not really reading what it's saying. Like you can have the deal right, but it says you have to get two. And me sometimes rushing through it when I'm with him. I'll pick up one and I'm supposed to have two to do the deal. So now I try to like like today I had my glasses on doing my deal. <laughs> to me it seems like the more I um the more I wear my my um reading glasses when I'm at the computer the more I need them. And I don't like that. I want to be able to not need them, just need them when I need to, like, read something. I don't know. I don't know. It's kind of feeling like they make my eyes worse than they already were. You know how you take them off and you try to refocus? It's a, it's a hassle for me. So I kind of wish I hadn't never started wearing the reading glasses and just wearing my prescription glasses because I wouldn't have that problem then. I wish I had those. Yeah, I need to get a camera, y'all. I'm sorry. But um, I wish I had gotten. I, I mean, I wish I could get those or find those tiger shrimp around here. They probably got them at Sam's, but like I said, I don't have my membership renewed yet. So I want to get some of those tiger shrimp. They're so good in B Love's life um, videos. They just mm, they look so good. And y'all let me know. Okay, so I'm on a diet, right? I'm on, I'm doing a money's loss challenge. So let me know if seafood is like fattening and which ones are fattening because I don't want to be eating all this stuff and not supposed to. I figure since it ain't fried, <laughs> it should be okay. So I hope it is, but y'all, y'all let me know. <laughs> We've already been to the gym today, so So hopefully the, the the calories that I worked out today still burn out. Oh, yeah, and we don't have our um, clams or mussels today. Yep. And um, bacon wrapped scallops. We don't have that today. That's what he wanted bacon wrapped scallops. Y'all know I'm a lover of the mussels, so. Oof. 
Oh, that's good. That meat. So good. Yep. It would be nice one. Though. I need some moolah. Okay, so we got these crabs because you know that if you get the Harvey's um, ad in your newspaper, they had them for $8.98. $8.98 a pound. So, we, um, we got one bag one week <laughs> and one bag the next was it Tuesday because the sale was going off. So we got another bag you know. What is yours? I like the way that one opened up for me. I wish all of them would do that. So... Father's Day is coming up, and I heard that they are having um, cards for mothers to get um, their baby daddy. <laughs> Father's Day card. So what do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about getting your baby daddy <laughs> a Father's Day card? It's different. And then what do you think about um, the mothers that the mothers that um, tell other mothers happy Mother's Day if they're single parents? If they're telling other mothers because I know I've seen where um, some mothers that are told Happy Father's Day get offended when somebody tells them that. Even if they're doing it on their own. They get offended. So just let me know what you guys think about that. You guys, the few little watches that I have. <laughs> what do you think about that? Mothers being told Happy Father's Day and fathers getting, well, baby daddy getting um, Father's Day gifts. Or cards, because I think you could. People have been already doing the the gift part, but the card part, saying the um, Happy Father's Day, Baby Daddy. Now that's just the, that's the weird part to me. Okay, he want to know. You can talk though. Just speak up, because I don't want to think you are illiterate and stuff. <laughs> Do y'all eat the green stuff that's in crab? Look how you ask me, y'all eat the green stuff that's in crab. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. What's the green stuff that's in, like in the whole crab, in the middle section of the crab? What is that? Because I've seen um, 
one of the YouTubers eat that with rice. And she said people were warning her about it, saying that she should not eat the poo. <laughs> but she said it's not poo, it's something else. Either way, what do y'all think about eating that? <laughs> so, I mean, even though it's not poo, what does it remind you of? <laughs> she eat it with rice. Well, she eat it. She said it's so good. Mm, it's so good. <laughs> it's so good. Mm, yum. <laughs> but <laughs> to each zone. It might be good. I don't think I want to try it, but it might be good. <laughs> I know that she eats a lot of um rice with her seafood boils. And it might be because, you know. That's like she Chinese. I think she Chinese, so I think they eat a lot of rice. And I don't want to sound racist or anything like that. But I'm just saying she's she pre she's pretty much the only one that I see <laughs> do her boils with rice. So and you know what? I think she done picked up a few times since she's been doing hers. But... but, um, her food, it, it looks good. Some of the stuff that she has. I don't watch all of her videos, but some of the stuff that she has, it looks really good. When you put two people that I like to watch. Okay. Does it have to be seafood? Um. Um. What's her name? I have to get on there and see. Cause I talked to her last night. I. That's a lot of them. It's a couple that I like to watch. Um, bow legs. Um, Miss B Lovely. Miss B Love Life. Yep, <laughs> I watch her. Um, there's a lot of them that I watch. There's a couple in Florida. Um, That's a new breed in Florida. You got a whole bunch of um, glam, glam TV. Oh, it's a lot of them that I like to watch. The one, the couple that's in Florida, um, I think they're in Florida, but I forgot the name of their channel. Shout out to everybody that's doing seafood mukbangs. When Tika Sutton, I remember her because I watched her the other day. Um. I would tell you to look at my phone so that way I could. I could shout them out because I like to watch their videos. Next time I'll give y'all all y'all shout out. The ones that I um watch regularly. Um Guy in New Orleans, um, what's his name? Casey, dark skin dude. He have a lot of mukbangs, but he does more than seafood mukbangs. Also, I hope not. I'm so sick of genetically modified food. I want some real food. Some healthy food. I get the organic chicken. Now, what you get out of that restaurant, 
I can't tell you what the, what all that is, but the difference between the best friend and your own cookie. The best friend Mine they cookie. got drugs. It's like drugs put into the food. It's like steroids. Yeah. So you ain't you ain't gonna get tired of it, you're gonna keep going back to it. You think so? You don't think? A lot of restaurants put a lot of restaurants put a lot of butter and buttermilk. That's another one. Some chicken. You can do that at home though. No, but buttermilk and when you got a certain type of like cheese and stuff. Well, I mean, you can do that at home. The steroid and the corn. They don't do that at the restaurant now. Oh, yeah. I worked at a chicken plant before, and I seen two-headed chickens coming down the line, so I know something was wrong. Mm-hmm. I don't know that some of them come real deformed, I know that. You think that started up from selling that chicken? It did not. <laughs> Why you say that? No, that's what this is for. Yeah. Anthony used to work that way. Cause this food is spicy, right? It ain't spicy. It ain't spicy as it was, but it's still spicy. Mm-hmm. Y'all, y'all can look at my channel and see that I don't have that many followers. So come on now, y'all got it. Invite people to come over here and watch my channel. It's not the most happening channel. I'm just being me. I'm simple, laid back. I ain't, you know, you know, all cute and fancy and stuff like that. <laughs> but I'm just simple and me. And I don't know. I'm having a hard time getting y'all to follow <laughs> that because. You got to have something going on, I guess, to, for people to follow you. So, hopefully, my channel will pick up soon. But, look at all that meat, y'all. It hasn't been that long. It's almost 40 minutes. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do more once I get the the equipment that I need. I want to do more, but right now I'm just starting out small and I'm just doing what I can with what I got. And I hope y'all can understand that, you know. I just need. More of y'all to watch and <laughs> make comments below and hit the notifications bell below and share. And what you see is what you get. I'm not a person that can put on in front for nobody. But I do love doing this YouTube thing. And I hope whatever I do may inspire somebody. If I just pick one person. My soul is blessed. 
And um, oh yeah, somebody made a comment about my son um and us doing these mukbangs. Excuse me for just pausing and <laughs> but um doing these mukbangs. We're not sitting up here eating a whole bunch of different kinds of food, um, fried foods and stuff. We're just doing seafood. And hopefully seafood is not being boiled. It's not that fattening. Somebody made a comment below saying that I was going to have him eating all this food and he was going to be big whether he got a fast, fast metabolism or not. But the thing is, I'm not making him eat nothing. My son loves um, seafood just like I do. And believe me, yeah, if he did not... If he did not want it, he would not. <laughs> he would not eat it. Well, that's plain and simple. He would not eat it. And another thing is, he likes his mama cooking too. <laughs> you know. And if we only eat one time a day, it should not be a big deal if we sit um in front of a camera or laptop or desktop or whatever and eat and, and talk. And if we're not eating this three or four times a day, I don't think he'll be all gigantic. And you see, I'm not making him eat that. He's doing that on his own. I'm not going to stop him from eating. That's my child. I'm not going to stop him from eating, but I'm not going to make him. I'm not going to force him to eat something that he don't like. But he likes seafood just like I do. Have y'all seen the video? What the man, um, the man drinking all that was doing? Yeah, that man drunk. How many Mountain Dews did he drink? Back to back to back to back to back. I don't see how that didn't get him some kind of rest. Because if I drink Mountain Dew in the evening like this, like I got a Mountain Dew in the fridge, I was going to do that with my boy. It's too late in the evening and I can't do it. I will not go to sleep. I get upset when I drink something that has caffeine in it or eat something that has caffeine and then I take melatonin and still can't go to sleep. I had caffeine in the fish, so I can't go to sleep unless I drink unless I drink something that caffeine in it. Um I can't wake up and I can't wake up and drink something that has caffeine. Unless you drink caffeine. Come on. Look like when I was just drinking water and I got really skinny. Yeah, when he was younger, he was real chubby. Not, well, yeah, he was big. And I don't know where he got the idea from. I thought he was he was like being in pain a lot. Because he used to have I don't put those in the um I don't know why you put that in the But um he used to have um like abnormal abnormal pain. And I thought he was drinking water to kind of relieve that pain. But he drank like three bottles of water every day before he went to school. And he slimmed up. Like I was like, I didn't even know he was that smart. I didn't know that. I don't even know he was doing that to, to you wouldn't try. So okay, he was doing it for the pain. Yeah, because he used to drink a lot of soda, so That's you would right. end up being in pain. And, and he would drink. He was in pain, and I, he probably had some type of um, urinary tract infection. 
But anyway, he drunk like three three bottles of water. Was it four? Three or four bottles of water every morning before he went to school. He drank a lot of water and he slimmed up yeah, real like, good. Like, I mean, I mean, I didn't know because I thought that was what he was trying to do, but he was actually trying to relieve that pain. But he didn't want to tell me because he didn't like going to the doctor. Because I'll take my children to the doctor in a minute. Because <laughs> I hated seeing them in pain or anything like that, so I would take them to the doctor. Like, whenever they walked in the door and their head was, I could tell their head was hurting by the way their eyes looked. Like, they would come in, eyes bloodshot red, and then they want to lay down. I know something wrong. But, they would avoid trying to tell me stuff because they know I didn't mind I keep him out of school, take him to the doctor to see what's wrong, or take him to the emergency room. Quick, fast, and in a hurry, but they hated that. <laughs> you know how boys are, they don't like going to the doctor, but. I remember one time he had a horrible, horrible stomach ache, and. Excuse me. We went to the hospital, and they had like different doctors coming in the room. And they did x-ray on the stomach. They had us waiting so long. I guess the longer they made us wait, the, the more the bill was going to be. I don't know. But I said, come on, baby. We're going to figure out what's going on. And we're going to make you better. So, time we get ready to walk out of the hospital, some black girl comes walking, running behind us. Um, I was like, we done been back that so long. I said, and everybody walking in that room asking questions. Then it, she said something. Somebody said something about they were changing shifts or something. Well, my son in there crying and in pain, but y'all want to like pass it off like it's a joke. I don't care if it was constipation. I don't care what it was. What was that? I probably thought something on my head. But anyway, I don't care what it was. Um, I felt like they should have took it serious because what if he had an appendix eruption or something? Like, he was in pain. He was crying. He wasn't crying for nothing. So I decided to get up and leave. And then they wanted, did we go back in? No. I was like, Enjoy. when she when she ran behind us and told us, I was like, you know what? I said, we've been waiting a long time. We've been renting a long time, and they, um, they act like they just just looking over him or whatever. So I said we're gonna go on and go. And she said something about it was gonna still be charged. And I was like, well, if the insurance called me, I'm gonna tell them that y'all had us waiting, you know, and didn't do nothing for them. So you charge them if you want to. And ain't number fraud because. Because y'all didn't do nothing for him. He didn't get no prescription or nothing. I had to go buy him something for pain in hopes that that would help until I could get him to his pediatrician. So, yeah. I had a pediatrician. Yeah. The pediatrician that he had retired and he was so disop he was so disappointed but he I mean regardless of whether he retired or not you still would have had to find another doctor because you of the age to have a family doctor not just a pediatrician so guys we are going to cut this short remember God loves you and I do too and there's nothing you can do about it 
Stay blessed. Stay prayed up. Stay up under the anointing. Um, this is all we have left. Um, not much. We have a, more shrimp than corn than anything, and probably a few more eggs. But this is it. It was good. As y'all can see. Anyway, y'all, please invite your friends, your family members, whoever, to um, check my channel out. Comment below. Um, I'm not here for any drama, negativity, or anything like that, but you are welcome to um, voice your opinion um, respectfully because I don't do all that cussing and, and all that um, angry type stuff. So, yeah. Love me or leave me. I'll let y'all later. Bye.